Yes, sir. It is I, your boy from Best Eye, and I greatly appreciate everybody tuning in for Don't F Up the Crime Scene, where me, special guests, would tune in and talk about our experiences on crime scenes and how to mess up the case. All right? So sit back and enjoy, and holler back at your boy. Holler. Yeah, it is I, your boy from Best Eye, coming again for Big Time Speakers, for Don't Fuck Up the Crime Scene. And I got a special guest. I know I say it all the time, guys. I got a special one from Massachusetts. And uh, she about to put it down in a second, all right? All right, let's get a, a quick readout. LETI, this is my sponsor for today. LETI, Law Enforcement Training Institute. If you need any type of certification on uh, investigation or you need to actually be become an officer, a police officer, you can hit up LATI, Law Enforcement Training Institute. They are located in Missouri. They are the bomb. I'm uh, one of the adjunct professors. You probably won't see me unless you do animal control on track. Uh, you can always reach them at 573-882-6021. Or you can just uh, extension.missouri.edu. All right. Uh, you speak to, uh, I'm going to have her on next week. It's crazy, right? I'm going to have Renee on next week. And uh, if you need some animal cruelty training, come to us. I'm not going to say we're the best. We're the best. Because um, that, that's DJ Khaled. I can't, I can't, I, I'm not trying to copyright, okay? And I, um, that's him. But um, we're the best. So again, LETI, Law Enforcement Training Institute. All right, it's out. Now, let me read in who I got. Now, um, Katie, do not kill me. On your last name, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna fucking try, okay. Um, pray for trying. I'm, I'm girl. I'm I'm about to I'm about to put it down. All right. First name's Katie. I got that shit good. Okay, guys. Uh, it's episode um, 57. Don't fuck up the crime scene. And uh, she's coming on. She gave me uh, a little bit of her time. She hails from the great state of uh, um, um, Massachusetts. And seven years um, animal inspector. For the township of Andover, um, uh, um, Maine. I'm, I'm so sorry, 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 Massachusetts. Sorry, sorry. And um, I met her ooh, five, six years ago. She's awesome. Um, uh, uh, we we talk here and there. We on our journey. I walk. Uh, I I walk. She runs. She's actually fit. I'm not fit. She <laughs> she's in shape. I'm not in shape. Okay. She she looks all that in her bag of chips, right? But. She has the most manliest man I have ever seen. He's a ne <laughs> no, we're talking. He's a Neanderthal, but he looks good. He is a sexy man, okay? Um, hair on his chest and everything, okay? Um, I never met him yet. I never met him yet. 17, I wish he was here to hear that. <laughs> 17 years in the business, uh, Mercy Vet Hospitals. She has a B, uh, BS in animal um, science and um, a, beloved, a beloved feline called Jasmine. Um, all right, Katie, help me with your last name. I won't let you say it, then I'll repeat it. Go ahead. Kaz Akowski. Kaz Akowski. Girl, I wouldn't have yeah. got that. I, I would have butchered that shit so, so badly, okay? Um, Katie, welcome to Don't Fuck Up the Crime Scene. We're going to go through the easy eights, because I have all my uh, first-time guests come through the easy eights, and we're going to talk about that. How you been? I haven't seen you, haven't talked to you in a while. I mean, we, you know, we, we, you know, we hit each other on text here and there. How you been? I've been good. I can't complain about anything. I guess the only thing actually I can complain about is that it's in the negative numbers up here, which I'm sure it is where you are too. Mm. Um, so yeah. I'm happy that people aren't leaving their dogs outside today. I'll say that. Well, you know, uh, I'm in DC and it's, it's cold as fuck outside. Okay. Um, I'm doing my best to stay inside. I got the heater. Now, now this is crazy. I can't run the heater when I'm doing a, a show because it sounds, you know, it catches sounds. And, uh -huh. I have the biggest closet you ever seen, okay? So I have blankets everywhere and soundboards and everything to keep the reverb. Anyway, to make sure the quality is good. And you, you sound really good. So for our first for our first question, what's the best thing you like about your job? Oh, there's so many things. My, I just, I really, really like interacting with people and their pets. Um, I know that sounds kind of cliche. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> but I really do 
I love interacting with people. I love hearing people's stories, what's going on in their lives. I love talking to people. And especially at the end, especially if they're missing a pet or there's something that we can do to help them make their pets' lives better or their lives better. It's just so fulfilling and wonderful to see how happy they are at the end. We have a lot of, a lot of ungrateful people, but a lot of really grateful people at the same time too. And it's, it's really nice to help those people. And um, so I'll, I'll interject. Um, I'm at the opposite end. Where um, it's not that I don't care about the people. It's just the uh, end result. Sometimes it's not what I want or when I go out. So um, I get a um, a regular like, okay, same old, same old, same old. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to lie to you. I've been in this 30 years. You haven't. And um, I'm like trying to, I'm doing my best to like still do my due diligence and, you know, talk to people be kind and respectful, but at the same time, I'm like, motherfucker, take your dog in. Motherfucker, stop your dog from running. Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, Katie, Katie we're talking. I'm like, motherfucker, okay? I'm so over people being irresponsible, and that's a bad word, okay? In fluffy land, when you call people irresponsible, like, oh my God, no, you didn't. I'm like, you're irresponsible, okay? And um, I'm, I'm be, and the thing is like this. So, so the reason why people tune in to the channel, to the podcast, and everything, I, I'm one of the ones who actually talk about everything, and I'm real. I don't hold punches. You know what I mean? Um, but it is so difficult talking to the average person about their they goddamn animal. I'm like, you know, why is your dog up the street? Well, he got out. The fuck that? Mean? What, excuse me? This is your animal. This is your pet. And I, I got it. A pet and a, a, an animal, two different things. A pet, you 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 make sure they have to go to the vet, make sure everything happens, you're good to go. An animal, the fuck out of here. So I'm like, um, I'm doing my due diligence like the Wusa and try not to um, curse them out. I don't write tickets up where I'm at now. But when I, when, I, when I wrote tickets, Katie, when I wrote tickets, $1,000. $1,000, okay? And people are like this, God damn. I'm like the count from um 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 Sesame Street. One ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. two ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Don't act like you don't know Sesame Street, goddammit. Okay. I would, Katie. I would lace their ass up. Okay. Um, and we would have compliance immediately. All right. All right. Next question. Next question. Next question is um favorite movie or book. Oh, my favorite movie is Jurassic Park. Which one? Actually, Which one? The first one. The first one. Okay. The newer ones are getting kind of terrible, but the first one is wonderful. Okay. <laughs> My favorite book is, I really, it's messed up, but I really love The Long Walk by Stephen King slash Richard Bachman. Really? I yeah. need to, uh, I need to holler into it. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. So it's literally a book about a bunch of teenagers who are in a competition to walk basically, I think, from Maine to Massachusetts. And they have three chances to stop, like to go to the bathroom or to trip or do anything <laughs> terrible. And after the third one, they get shot and killed. But if they make it all the way, they win like millions of dollars. And there's only one winner at the end. No way. <laughs> yeah. I, it, I read that book in like less than a day. I couldn't put it down. All right, guys. Um, again, this episode um, fifty-seven. Don't fuck up the crime scene. I get my get my girl Katie on. Um, again, I'm gonna butcher her name. Katie, say your name again. Katie Kazakowski. Kazakowski, girl. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have got that. I got. I, I, yeah. I, I, the, the ski. I got the cow. I got the cuz. Okay. Matter of fact, let me break it down. Kawakowski. I got it. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm break- say, so we got a joke about my last name. It's why doesn't a cow use a toboggan? Kazakowski's. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to get it wrong again. <laughs> I hate you in every way. Um, you can thank my dad for that one. <laughs> I hate you in every way. Um, this is this is, this is this is my partner. We do Fitbit together sometime. Um, this is my homie from up there in uh, Massachusetts. And um, everybody from Massachusetts is a mass hole, but this is an exception. I actually like her. Um, uh, and she's married to um, the, the, the fittest guy I've ever seen in my life. Um, he has hair on his chest so so great. 
it'll it, it'll it'll like it'll it'll clove the the northern hemisphere. Okay, Haggai, Haggai, how, how tall is he? Six six. That's it. He looks bigger. Yeah. He he looks bigger. He looks bigger. No no, that, that sounds a little. You're standing little, next to me because I'm kind of tall, but. Yeah, no, no, he he looks bigger. He looks bigger. All right, next question. Next Becker. Um favorite no no. Your most interesting case you have uh as far as animal control work. Most interesting. Hmm. So I love hoarding cases. Like love hoarding cases. Um I do like I said before, I love helping people. I love hoarding cases and I love people with mental health problems because I really like to know what's going on in their brain and why they do things. Mm -hmm. So actually I'll say this was before I actually was an animal control officer. I was volunteering with the MSPCA law enforcement um, when I was working at the shelter. And there was a gentleman in Western Massachusetts when we went out there who had over 200 cats and he had, his house was just filled with poop everywhere like we literally walked up on a pile of poop and it was so dark in there we didn't know what it was at first um but the house had a brand new tv a brand new refrigerator and red silk sheets Uh, okay (laughs) the cats would literally like slide across the red silk i hate you she said uh she said slide go ahead keep going my bad my bad (laughs) <laughs> you fucking me up here, but go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> but those, I've done a few hoarding cases. That one definitely sticks out in my brain the most, but hoarding is definitely, I'd say, my most interesting and most fun ones. The outcome is really never that great because they're usually feral cats. But other than that, I'd say those are definitely my top, my most interesting cases that I go on are hoarding cases. You know, uh, I appreciate that. Um, I have so many hoarding stories to tell. We're not going to go there now. That's next time. Matter of fact, I might bring you on for hoarding. I, I might bring you on, um, and I'll give you the topic and is hoarding, and we can talk about hoarding stuff and all that sexiness. That that was good. That was really good. All right, next question for you is um, favorite favorite food to cook or eat. My favorite food is definitely buffalo chicken, and I make a really, really, really good buffalo chicken calzone. Oh, for real. Yeah, I'm not a vegetarian. I love meat. <laughs> <laughs> she she said, "Fuck y'all, vegetarians. Fuck y'all, vegans." Okay, um, um, <laughs> so, so 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 first of all, is it due to prove? And does your does your does your your, your boo like it? Does he eat it? Oh, he loves it absolutely. Okay, okay, he that, absolutely loves it, and I make it as much as I can. <laughs> Enough said. Enough said. Next question. Next question. That's a good shit. Um, you might want to copy, send me the recipe. I might want to duplicate that. We we'll talk about well, I'll that. Send it to you. Don't worry. All right. Um, so the name of the show is "Don't Fuck Up the Crime Scene." Um, um, have you ever messed up a crime scene accidentally on purpose? What happened? Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think so. I mean, I've left tools before. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. I let the catch roll on the scene. I'm there. I left my snappy snare. Okay, okay. <laughs> that once, and I'm really sad about it because I really miss it. <laughs> I hate you. And, 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 so, so guys, uh, episode again, fifty-seven. I got my gay, uh, Katie uh, Kowalski, and she's out. And let me tell you like this: we're talking regular ACO, ACI stuff. And when you go on a scene, you need to do a walkthrough before you leave. Because you will leave so much stuff there. All right, go ahead, Katie. My bad. So I think that's the biggest thing I ever did. Otherwise, I don't think, not yet, knock on wood, I have not messed up a crime scene on purpose or by mistake. <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. I love it. I love it. Next question. Um, favorite place to visit or vacation? Well, we just went to Scotland. Mm. We went to Edinburgh. Mm. And that was by far my favorite vacation, other than the fact that it gave me COVID. But otherwise, it was absolutely fantastic. I haven't been to Scotland. Um, I have um, a few peeps in Ireland. Uh, I want to go to Ireland to, get, to taste a real Guinness mm-hmm. warm. Um, I, I really want to taste a Guinness warm. Um, um, I have a, um, a vet. She's a doctor out there. And her, uh, her, her sister, I think she's a regular doctor, not a vet. Um, I want to visit them and go out there. Um, yo, I, I so want to go to the UK, um, to go on the.